Now, one of the best features about the new Fire TV interface is that ability to aggregate your favorite content. And that really does seem to be the way or the direction that Amazon as well as Google TV are going. So the priority seems to be content over applications. Now, in the old days, you'd open up your favorite streaming applications and then through those applications, you'll then find content to watch. But as we can see now with the new home screens, it's all just about content. So right on the home screen, I can see lots of different content, anything I want to watch, I can just click on that and that will then open up the respective application for me. Wouldn't it be amazing if we could use a single application to aggregate all of our favorite streaming services, free services and pay services into a single application which we could then enjoy on all of our devices this application is absolutely free with the recent update it supports up to 300 different streaming services and it works great across all of your devices so do take a moment to hit that like button make sure you hit that subscribe button so with all of that being said let's get started. if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials the latest fire stick android and android tv tips and tricks then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell it's a small click from you but it makes a big difference to me thank you now when you start the application it will take you through a quick intro just showing you that it does support movies and tv shows now here we can see it asks you do you want to create a login which is absolutely free now you may want to do this if you want to uh, mark films as your favorites or create watch lists or save your progress on certain things but in my example i'm just going to show you what you can do or what you can access without any kind of login or registration so i'm just going to click on get started let's get started now here we can see it asks you which subscription services do you currently use and at the top we can see it's giving me the free bundle which for me as I'm in the UK only consists of about four or five different applications but for the guys in the United States you will see that you'll have access to about 10 free applications as well as so many more subscription services. So let me add the free bundle and let me also add in Netflix, Prime Video and also Disney. But again, if you are subscribed to more services, you can easily just add them in here. Let's click on done. And I will show you in a second, if you do this from United States, just how many more options you get to uh, select. Let's click on done. And let's click on skip for now. And here we can see straight away, just like the new Fire TV home screen, I now have access to all of this content directly on the home page. So it doesn't matter which applications actually serve this content. I can just choose what I want to watch, uh, like uh, this thing here. Click on that. I then get to see a summary about what the content is, how long it is, and what the rating is. Click on start watching. And just like that, this will now automatically spawn whichever application is actually serving this content. And we can see in this example is actually Netflix. Give that a second and that starts playing straight away and it goes directly into that content for us. And we see that's working absolutely fine. Let's press the back button. Here we can see we have trending movies, Oscar nominees, and then we also have collections. So if I'm only interested in uh, Golden Globe nominees, or for example, I'm interested in uh, most watched movies of 2020. Let's click on that. And this will then filter out the content and just show me the most popular content on here. Here, for example, we can see uh, this content here is available on Prime Video. Let's click on that. Again, it shows you a summary about the content. I can now click on play. And this should then automatically launch Prime Video for me and take me directly into the content. And we can see it's done exactly that. And it's actually a, a 4K UHD uh, movie. Now, one slight bug I noticed on um, the 4K Fire Stick is sometimes for Prime Video content, although it starts, it does seem to come up with an error. So I don't know if that's a bug only on the 4K Fire Stick, but definitely on the Fire TV Cube, I was able to watch Prime content through this application without any issue whatsoever. At the top here, we can see we have sections for TV shows, movies and also your list but that only works if you created a login let's go to settings and here for example you can choose your uh, country and we can see mine is set to united kingdom which i will change in just a second uh, let's have a look at the services and here for example i can then edit the services and add and remove 
anything else that I'm subscribed to. Okay, let's click on done. And let me now change the country to, to America. Click on done. Let's now go to services and we can see straight away, guys, just how many more things you can access when you do use this application with a USA IP address. And for the people not in the United States, you can also use your VPN and just set your location to USA. And we can see, guys, you have access to so many more streaming services. And just looking at the free bundle at the top, we can see yours includes Voodoo, Crackle, Tubi TV, IMDb TV, YouTube, Fox, and just so much more. Uh, let's click on uh, done. And now we can see with the USA setting, we actually have a section for best of what's free. So let's click on that. And we can see all of the content in here is absolutely free that we can enjoy through those free services as long as you have that USA IP address. So for example, I want to watch this uh, Donnie Dark over here. Let's click on that. This shows me that this is currently streaming for free on Tubi TV. But also if I scroll down, we can see it's also available on these other applications absolutely free. So a great application really will help you find your favorite streaming content, whether you're interested in movies or TV shows, aggregated across those 300 plus streaming services that you can use on your Fire Stick, on your Nvidia Shield, or really any Android device. And we can just see guys, just so much free content is available. And that's really the strategy whereby why make the person or the viewer go through separate applications to find what's available? Why not just take the content out of those applications and put it all onto a single screen? And that's exactly what the new Fire Stick home screen and the Google TV home screen look like. But with this application, we can get similar functionality. So that's the application there, real good. Let me now show you how you can install this on all of your devices. Okay, so to get the latest version of this application on your Amazon device or Nvidia Shield, you have two options. Now, depending on your region, your location, you may find the application directly on your app store. So here we can see on my Fire TV Cube, I can just search for real good. Here it is. Click on that. And that's the application there. Now, if you can't find it in your application store, or maybe you're doing this on an Android TV box, the easiest way to get this application is directly on my website. So we just go over to your downloader and inside downloader, we can just type in 53402, which is a shortcode to get directly to my website and click on go. Now, when you get to my website, if you head over to the hamburger menu, which is one with the three lines and then click on tutorials. And at the top of the list, you'll see there is a tutorial for how to get the real good application on all of your devices. So let's open that up. And here we can see the page. So real good streaming aggregator. Uh, let's scroll down, it tells you what services it supports. Then here we have the step-by-step uh, -step instructions. And underneath all of that, we have the link to the software. So let's click on that. Go to the next page, scroll down and click on the green download button. And that will download the application directly onto your device. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I do think this is a great application helping you aggregate all of your streaming services into a single application. So do leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. And I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.